Hey guys, Mackenzie here with LaFontaine Classic Cars. Uh, we're a classic car dealer over here in Michigan. We specialize in all the cool stuff. This is a 69 Mach 1, one of just 1500 in this paint and trim code per Kevin Marty's report on it. Let's go for a drive. We'll get into it. We're going to switch it up today. We're going to get right on the road. Alright, so we've left the shop, coming up to our first stop sign here, and we know this steering wheel is not moving at all when we hit the brakes, so it's grabbing evenly and the alignment is good. Yeah, this car is kind of about business. I'm going to get rid of some wind noise here. Uh, this cranks up and down very nicely. Now, this car does actually have a GM transmission. Yes, you heard that correctly. Now, if it had a small block Chevy under the hood, I'd be pissed, but I'm actually pretty happy about this. It's a 700 R4, it's been completely gone through, and it gives this car overdrive so you can cruise and keep the RPMs nice and low. doing 70 at 2500 RPM. Brakes feel good. How's the power steering doing us? Oh baby. Yeah, this car feels tight. It's fast. Sounds great. All of my gauges are working. It shows 11,000 miles on the tack or on the odometer, excuse me. And I believe what he told me is that is how many miles have been put on there since the car was restored. So not much at all on this fresh motor, um, transmission, all of that. Um, now for some pulls. Joey says, give it the gusto. Now to get into the walk around, those of you who are prospective buyers, maybe you had the Mach 1 on the list, the wish list that is, maybe you had one back in the day. Um, we like to get you the up close and personal look is probably 99% of the sales we do nowadays are done through the interwebs, over the phone. Uh, everyone's busy, it's hard to make it out here. Um, I wanna pop the hood for you and show you, show you this 351 we're cooking. It's a nice Windsor under here. It's all been built. <laughs> That's a gorgeous engine bay. All right, so we've got Dart aluminum heads. We've got a built bottom end. It's got a polished crank, um, Eagle rods, new pistons, um, Edelbrock intake manifold. Um, you see we got MSD ignition in here. And look at the chrome. All this thing, this just pops. I like the little button head, hex fasteners up here. This has a, a billet front drive on it, which is very trick. It's a six rib belt versus the factory V belt this car would have got. Aluminum radiator, keeping things cool. Looks like a little expansion tank over here. Nice hoses, stayed true to faux moco. We got the original clamps everywhere on all these water hoses, which is cool. We have the oil cooler. This is, uh, was a factory option for the Super Cobra Jets. Pretty cool to see it on here. And if, while you're looking, you'll see it has an electric pusher fan on it. Yeah, baby. Super clean, super clean. Power brakes, power steering.
just like that. So coming down the rest of this ride, we've got some radial GTs and the Mag 500s. A gorgeous look, I love it. Those are fresh looking tires. You even got a chrome valve stem on there, making it all go. Uh, our Mach 1 graphic is gorgeous. Our bright work down here is very sharp. We got a little dirt on it from the road, but that ain't no thing. Um, gaps, better than they were new. I gotta believe that. This is so, such a nice paint job. Um, looks like the felts were replaced, all of these little details, the intricate stuff had been gone through. Got nice hips on this car, a little ducting work there. Got a little bit more meat out back. This is a 255. Dig it. You see that graphic continues and really bringing this icon all together. I think the window louvers and the rear spoiler are awesome. Very cool look. I'll show you this coming open. If you can find it. Look at that. So we got our full size spare. This is a drop down rear seat car. Got our factory stickers underneath, new seal. Latch looks good. The striker looks good. And there's some additional insulation. Um, trying to keep road noise down inside of here, which is cool. Show you this closing up. Very nice. Always a fun detail of this car. You're never going to lose your gas cap because it stays there the whole time. Chrome looks nice. We got nice little turn downs coming out of the rear valence there for an exhaust. Sharp look. The lenses for the reverse lights look like they were replaced. Those look pretty new. Come around the passenger side. Hot damn, it's just as straight as the other side. What do you know? Um, no corners cut on this build. It, uh, it's been on the road for about 10 years since it's been redone. In this kind of condition, you can tell it has been very well cared for. Um, I might have mentioned this already, but we know we know the fellow who put this car together and how his ownership was with it. Definitely the kind of fellow you'd want to own a car after. 69, so cool for having four of these headlamps. We got our turn indicators down low, and then we have that nice front chin splitter. This car has all the sex appeal. It's got hood pins, a kind of egg carton grill. It's a pretty bad machine, guys. We'll check out the interior. Woo! Doors open like butter. They're not sagging. Very nice job. Uh, jams on this car are stout. See, we got the black high net buckets. This car is configured just as it was. A 351, an automatic trans, candy red paint, and the black high net interior. Sweet. Our Mach 1 uh, wood grain in here looks all cool with our badges. The clock is working. Uh, we got a beautiful instrument, uh, set of instrument gauges over here. Those look very nice. I love the wood grain in this era of car. They look really trick. This one does have an eight track player along with an AM and FM radio. We've got our heater controls just below that. And then they've also added a couple of auto meter gauges for oil volts and our trans temp over here. And then in here, nice little center console, fit your wallet in here, whatever else you might like. Our original owner's manual in here, 69, pretty cool. Uh, graphic they put on there. Um, we look into the back of this car. I mean, the seats, that we've, I mentioned this is a fold down, you know, so we got uh, buckles for both our passengers. The headliner is very tight. Even on those little quarter panels there, those fill panels. Our seal looks like it was replaced. Everything is nice. I don't see a screw missing. It all looks good. This car was gone through quite, quite well. All right, guys, this is a wrap. There's a couple things to share before you go today and go and check out another one of our videos, maybe. Um, 
This one's for sale. I've got a link in the description of this video. If you click that, it'll take you to our website where you'll see the full listing, which includes uh, a full write-up on it. Uh, a detailed photo gallery. This gets you the underbody shots, all the nooks and crannies, and of course, some documentation as well. This car has a three inch thick binder, tons of pictures, tons of ownership history, and a lot of receipts. Um, I said it earlier owned and built and cared for previously by the kind of person we like to own vehicles after um, very very good very very good i'm um, lastly that number it's 248-714-2110 hit us up give us a call shoot us an email one last thing before we go we got something cool going on i saved the best for last over here um, you can't survive is a nonprofit cancer foundation here in michigan um, they're working to cure this this disease for the whole world, but it's starting here. We got a lot of good hospitals, and they're raising money. This is an entirely nonprofit, raising money to grant local research. So they're writing these grants. It's making a big change. They're trying to raise millions of dollars, and we teamed up with them. We got a cool opportunity. We all got good ideas. This one's stuck. I like it. We're giving away a 1975 Ford Bronco. It's red. It's gorgeous. This truck is awesome, and for uh, a small donation, you can get entered to win this. We're selling raffle tickets. Um, that cuts off in June, I believe, so you got some time, but I wouldn't wait. Also, while you're on there, they sell shirts, hats, mugs, whatever it be, and all the proceeds go towards cancer research. So definitely a good cause. We're glad to be a part of it. I'll put that in the description as well, youcansurvive.com. Check it out. Like, subscribe. We'll see you guys in the next video.